Janine has been posting photos and live videos to our SSP TV Facebook page. She also talked with several media outlets, including Doc at Froggy 101, WKRZ Radio, and our media partner, the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Following today's ceremony, she talked with our Lisa Sugart via phone about what she calls an experience of a lifetime. It's so real. It's, I'm so glad to be here. It was an amazing trip. This is only my second time actually in the D.C. area, and it's remarkable. Uh, aside from what some of the mainstream media might have been reporting, there were not that many riots, at least that we didn't see. We were in Section Orange, um, the Orange Ticket Standing Area, which was uh, stage right standing. Um, not very close to the stage. Uh, we were looking onto a monitor, but uh, very peaceful. Uh, people seemed very enthusiastic, very patriotic, very hopeful. Um, it was a kind environment. It was nice even just, you know, almost like a tailgating would be at a football game. Um, people uh, talking about the future of the country, um, sharing stories. Uh, wearing red, white, and blue, buying merchandise, um, eating food at the, the local vendors. So a little bit of drizzle this morning, um, but that didn't hurt anyone. It cleared up and was drizzling a little bit for when he uh, took his oath. But it's an amazing experience. Have you met people, I'm sure, from all over the country there? People from all over came together, and I just can't imagine what their sense uh, is like what they're thinking, what's going through their mind as they're there to witness this. It is amazing. We met people from Hawaii, from Michigan, uh, from Florida, from all over, as you said, uh, the country. And really, the message of hope and uh, change, and you know, keeping it inside, as Trump said in his speech, bringing everything back here as America first, as the people. Um, putting, um, you know, government aside and, and putting the people first is really the message that I was hearing from people here today. Now, your day is not over because you are lucky enough to be going to one of the balls this evening. Yes, well, a funny story because, you know, it, I got here into D.C. around 8 o'clock and it took us about, uh, we probably walked about five miles and an hour and a half later to find our section because of security and where they would let us walk and where, you know, parts of the, uh, of DC were closed off. So it was a little bit tricky getting to our section. So yeah, I do have tickets to the Freedom Ball this evening and I'm really hopeful. I'm going to definitely do my best to get there. Uh, I'm hoping that Uber doesn't see my gown the most this evening, but it's just a great experience and it's been an amazing trip so far. You can follow Janine by going to facebook.com slash SSPTV shows. She'll be posting more update from tonight's Freedom Ball in Washington, D.C. In other news,